Welcome to the Philip Show. Grab your coffee because it's it's a serious day. Mm-hmm. One of the things that I absolutely love is people who create opportunities for themselves. There's something about us now in the time that we're in where a lot of people are trying to forge their own path. A lot of people are trying to say, you know what, I may not want the nine to five. I may not, you know, X, Y, and Z, the standard, what's traditional. However, a lot of people don't have the courage. Listen, a lot of people don't have the courage and sometimes they have the courage to start, but they don't have the commitment to finish. And one of the key factors there is sometimes we don't have the resources to help us along the way, to motivate us, to get us from nugget to nugget, from point to point. But today we have somebody that has followed all the breadcrumbs to success and is now giving people the nuggets that they need to live a great life. And as one of the top life insurance providers in New Jersey, She has been featured in Spotlight Magazine as the number one agent in the entire state, receiving numerous industry awards due to leading families towards leaving a legacy rather than debt. And she also holds master classes to support those interested in learning how life insurance can lead to financial freedom for so many. So Atia Bell is here. Before she comes on, I want you to grab a pen. I want you to grab some paper, but I also want you to open up your ears because it doesn't matter what industry you are interested in going in. This was going to be great for you. However, there's some courage, there is some commitment, and there's also some resources that you need, and you're going to discover them today. Atia! <laughs> hey, y'all! Hey! <laughs> yes, thank you so much for having me, Philip. I really appreciate it. Oh my goodness! Thank you so much for um, just being awesome. I, you know, I um, I was introduced to you um, to your presence. Excuse me, because we're just meeting for the first time now. Yes, a pleasure. Yes. <laughs> See, this is how you know God will just open up doors and speak your name in rooms that you're just not in. Really? And, no. Yes. And one of the things that I love is seeing people's impact and authentic progress and how people <laughs> go from point A to point B, and all of a sudden. You were on my feed. And I was like, well, who is it Tia? So I, you know, you reach out and become friends. And then I was like, hmm, you have the commitment and the passion and the determination yeah. and the kind of like the, the resume to back it up. And like, this is what we're doing. So <laughs> yeah. So, so let me so let me quit talking about you. Tell me, you're in life insurance, right? Yes, I am. Uh, mm-hmm. Yes, I am. I've been in the financial services industry. Um, I actually started off um, as a stockbroker. Okay. Um, at the age of 21 years old, um, I worked for several years as a stockbroker for a firm on Wall Street, um, which taught me a lot, of course, about sales. Um, but I really realized that I wanted to be in an industry where I knew I was helping people. You know, with the stock market, it goes up, it goes down. People can be affected positively or negatively. So um, after doing that for a couple of years, I've realized that I wanted to find something that I could really be passionate about. Um, but also make some money while doing it, you know? So um, life insurance is the one thing that's a guarantee because naturally we have health insurance for if we get sick, car insurance for if our car gets into an accident. Um, But you need to have something in terms of the win. The win is we're all going to die one day, right? And when that day comes, hopefully later and not sooner, you don't leave behind a mess and a trail of debt um, for your family. We don't do GoFundMes over here. Um, we definitely want to make sure everyone can either protect their family by you know, taking care of their funeral or um, simply leaving a legacy for the same family members that they loved here on earth. So yes. I know we're going to talk more about you know, your how because there's so many things that you're doing. But I'm so curious. You know, As I open the yes. show, I was talking about people having different lanes and people choosing different things. And although you now know that life insurance has all of these options, what was it? I know you said helping people, but but why life insurance? It seems like there's kind of like a taboo. How did you get yeah. through the of life insurance to say, yes. I think that this is this is my thing? Well, to be honest, it wasn't my thing. 
Um, oh. I had actually had several people try and recruit me before um, over the years. And I just always knew um, that talking about death was going to be difficult for a lot of people, you know. Uh, but what happened was, you know, I was thinking about switching lanes um, and I was talking to a young woman. Um, her name is Claudia. I would always, you know, speak her name highly because she reached out to me one day and said, listen, how about you just come in for an interview? Uh, so I came in for an interview and God rest his soul, Glenn was able to convince me um, to take the job. But most importantly, um, when I sat and really thought about it, it's the one guarantee on earth. Right. Um, I've been in sales for 20 plus years. I'm 38 now. But even from the time I was a child, I was still, you know, selling things at school. So I know how to communicate with people. Um, my goal is that I like to break things down, you know, layman's terms. OK. Um, and make people feel comfortable because in reality, we see all of these uh, GoFundMe funerals up and down. Um, up and down our timelines. And in reality, we really need to make sure that we get some coverage. So I kind of stumbled into it. Um, mm -hmm. And I mean, when I say stumbled into it, I went in, I was pretty much, you know, a blank canvas, like, okay, tell me what this job entails. Mm -hmm. um, and once I realized that I was simply able to um, either go into people's homes or give people a call over the phone, um, offer them reputable carriers, you know, carriers that we're all familiar with and help them find something that's in their budget. You know, in the meantime, I build rapport. I build relationships with these families. I've been invited to baby showers, Sunday dinners. By the time I get off the phone with people, it's a total vibe. We're friends now. OK, yeah, right. so we're friends now. So, you know, my main purpose is helping people understand that not only is life insurance good for, um, you know, to have in your back pocket for when you die. Right. To protect your family. But a lot of people forget that there are a lot of living benefits to mm -hmm. having life insurance, living benefits. Um, during the pandemic, so many of my clients were able to take advantage of the cash value um, that had built up in their policies. Um, this cash value could sometimes be thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. So when people lost their job out of nowhere, their back is to the wall, they were able to call up the life insurance carriers or myself for us to process their money. OK, mm -hmm. meaning I need to take a thousand dollars because I need to pay my mortgage. Um, and then they pay themselves back the interest. So um, I absolutely and I know you, you've seen, you know, you said you've seen my page. I love what I do. I don't feel like I'm yes. working at all. You know, so yes. many people think that they can't get coverage. Um, so when I walk in and they're like, oh, I've been declined three times. Well, you never sat with me. Um, I mm -hmm. can get anybody covered, which is the perk. It's what, it's, you know, it's what I do. Yes. Yeah, you do. Um, it's it's evident, and in, even clearly now, even for just listening and watching. I mean, it's evident that you really enjoy. You know, you're in your you're in your what are in your bag right now. You know, I'm in you're my bag. doing you're in your bag. You're I'm doing, in my bag. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're doing your thing, and it's infectious. You know, whatever you're doing, and I think this is just kind of like an offshoot. But when you found something that you liked, you really liked it, and you really went for it. I was interested when you said that some people were trying to recruit you. Oh, yes. There is something about your processing and your perspective and how you see the world where it seems as though um, the sky's the limit for you. Not everybody yes. gets to Wall Street. Not everybody yes. leaves Wall Street. And because what is it you think about you um, that you see things and you say, I can do that? And what keeps you going forward? Um, well, first, we're going to give my parents some credit. You mm. know, um, Jeannie and Douglas, my parents have four Shut daughters. Up, all of, yes, all of all of my sisters are successful. Um, my parents did a hell of a job at removing that invisible ceiling. Mm. You know, you touched on something. You know, I was raised in a church and my parents always would put different things in front of me. Like, you know, I started off doing speeches in church and things like that. And every once in a while I would say, oh, I don't think I can do that. And my dad, especially my mom too, but my dad, oh, you can do anything. What are you talking mm. about? Anything you put your mind to. So, you know, I actually coach people on this. Having a positive mindset is number one. It's important. Mm. Um, and I can speak to that because I used to not always have a positive mindset, right? Um, I used to go into some things thinking like, oh, well, you know, what if this person rejects me? Or, you know, what if I don't get that job opportunity? I look at everything as if it's already mine. Everything mm. is already mine. Um, the things that I can control. Now, the things I can't control, that's none of my business, right? That's what sure. I got. Um, however, 
I definitely feel as if like, even right now, as I'm continuing to build my agency, started off with one person in my downline. Now I have 120 people in my downline um, in a very short time frame. And it's funny, even when you do that, it's like, sometimes I'm like, I did that? Yes. Um, all because I just put one foot in front of the other. Every single day I do something productive. It could just be one phone call, you know? It could just be me um, talking to a young lady with her kids in the grocery store. And I'm like, hey, by the way, I'm not sure if you, you know, have ever considered it, but have you ever thought about maybe getting a life insurance policy? I talk to everyone everywhere I go. So mm. um, what I also do is I just put things out there into the universe. Um, even on my page, I will say what I'm going to do, even before I've done it. Now, there are some people, this is my mindset, they're like, oh, never let people know what your plans are. That's because you think they have control over Ooh. your life. Indeed. But they don't. No one has control over my life but me, okay? Mm. Um, so once I start to tell myself, okay, Tia, um, you're going to go from being an agent, right? I was the number one top agent with a very popular life insurance carrier for, I think, three years. The number one agent in the state. Mm -hmm. um, top 14. In the, in the country, right? So I did that for a couple years. And I'm telling you, Philip, I took the biggest plunge off a roof, okay? I just one day said, I think I can do more than this. And mm -hmm. people said, how do you walk away from a company when you're the number one agent in the state? And I walked away with nothing. Mm -hmm. I was not able to take any of my clients with me, um, nothing. And I literally reached out to someone um, and I started working there as an independent broker, meaning instead of being able to sell one product, one carrier, now I have access to 80 carriers and I can cover anyone, even if they're in prison or cancer, AIDS, schizophrenia, autism, anything that is going on in your life under age 85, I have a carrier for it. Um, mm. So what I realized was um, and the more I said what's next, the universe and God would show me exactly what's next mm. i would look at my right and say okay so now you're a broker you're still writing great business you're doing it on your own terms but what's the next step how about right. you build me how about you start an agency um before you can start an agency how about you start training people um so i actually started my course first uh because i knew that i love talking to people as you see i love talking to people and i love breaking things down you know yeah. and most of the people that i train um train look just like me Mm. Right? So I talk to everybody like they're my cousins, my aunties, my uncles, and I just make people feel really comfortable. So the next step for me after the course was to build my agency and slowly but surely, you know, not even slowly, quickly, actually. Sure. I mean, that's where I run into people like you who I've never gotten a chance to even be acquainted with. And somehow I got on your radar, which lets me know I'm doing something right. I got to be doing something right for Philip to reach out to me. Got yeah. to. Yes. <laughs> oh my. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm, I mean, I'm listen. It's it's awesome. You're awesome to watch. And one of the things that I was going to ask you, and you kind of made it very clear, and it's kind of we can tell here. There are so many people out there, and so many different um, industries out there, and so many different pros out there, and so many different dot dot dots out there that are offering seminars, webinars, um, training. Oh yes. This. Yes. But I also know that there are those that actually produce results, whether the results are gonna be monetary or the results are, now I believe in myself to do the next step. What is yes. it about yes. your trainings and the people that you, besides, you know, there's something there um, that people continue to utilize your services, they continue to want to be on the waiting list to get in your trainings. There's something, <laughs> there's some sort of magic. What is it? Yeah, yeah there's oh. something different. What What do you think is resonating? Because it can't just be money. It can't just be, what do you think well, it is? Well, I'm going to tell you, honestly, this is what I think it is. Um, I think my faith plays a huge factor in it. It's one of the reasons why I left Wall Street because, you know, mixing money of those levels, it's a little, you know, you can you can be asked to compromise yourself in those types of yes, fields. Yes. Um, I think, honestly, if I had, that's a really interesting question. If I were to pinpoint what the difference is, I think it's my morality. Hmm. 
It really is what it is. Um, I am kind because I'm kind. I am generous because I'm generous. I don't do things for something. Like, of course, people pay me for my course naturally. Um, but what I like to do well, naturally. is naturally, right? Because it takes me at least a month, two weeks to a month to train people. And my training is very hands on. Mm -hmm. um, but wh what I really think it is, is I'm just very honest and transparent. My agents tell me all the time, if I need the truth, I'm going to come to you because whether or not it's good news or bad news, I got to tell you, I'm going to tell you the truth. So when I'm training someone, if I think they sound too shy or if I think that they need to do something else, um, if I think that they need to focus more in a different area or they're slacking in a different area, I'm very honest with people. Um, so when I'm doing my course, not only am I training them, I have a specific script um, that a lot of life insurance brokers use. I've been contracted by different agencies and brokerage firms for my script, right? Um, and I just make things easier, meaning you, I teach you how to relate to people the same way I relate to people, which mm -hmm. is with um, honesty, right? You have to be knowledgeable, right? You need to be You're assertive, right. but you also need to be relatable, right? Mm -hmm. Because people buy from who they like. This is true. And you can have all the information in the world. If they don't like you, they're not going to buy. Okay. This is true. Um, so I really think what separates my course, because I'm very familiar with a lot of those courses. Um, I also don't promise people things. Hmm. In sales, if you have someone saying, oh, you know, you could write $50,000 your first month. Those people you want to stay away from. You know why? Because they're giving you an expectation without knowing your work ethic. Oh, that's good. That's good. Because in reality, who's going to determine how much money you make? You are. Mm, so I can't take Susie, Susie Brown and say, you know what? Your first month, you're going to make $50,000. Because what if Susie never picks up the phone? Mm. What if Susie doesn't get over her fear? What if Susie can't handle rejection? Mm. What if Susie decides that, you know, all of her neighbors walking around her, she's just never going to tell them that she sells life insurance. Mm. So those are factors that I can't control. But what I do make sure I control is making sure that everyone has the script, right? I work yes. with people one-on-one -on -one, as well as in a class setting um, with a mock presentation. Also, you know what I think is a little different now that I think about it? Um, I train without a camera on. What? I train without the camera. Let me tell you why. <laughs> I think it's genius, actually. It's worked it might, Listen, I might just pull out a pad and paper and take let notes me, now. Let me I'm tell you why it's genius. First I'm of all, listening. I saw this, this little hair. Oh, got her out. She was giving me a headache. Um, what it is, is um, we train on telesales, right? So there was a time before the pandemic where I used to have to go to people's houses to sell life insurance. Now I don't, right? So I can see a number or have a referral, call somebody on the phone. Hey, you know, blah, blah, blah. This is the carrier that I think is best for you. Does this fit into your budget? Write the application right there. They never see me visually. Mm. They never see me. So what I train people on is telesales without the camera. Why? Because... All of the things that you think have gotten you through life, your winking, your smile, your swag that people can see, um, your beautiful hair, your beautiful eyes, your nice haircut, they can't see that over the phone, right? Mm. So the most important thing is sometimes I have 20, 30 people in a class, no one has a camera on. Why? That stops you from judging other people that based on what you see. That is deep. All you hear is a voice. So when I'm working with the brokers and they come on, I have, mind you, I record everything and send it to them, okay? For mm -hmm. the purposes of them looking back and being able to learn from it. So some people come on and their first time doing a mock presentation, they're so used to relying on their looks, you know, mm. just your gestures, that they're very meek and they're very quiet. And I said, ah, increase that volume. Make sure you put some power before you, you know, in, in your voice. And after a while, I want to say by the third, fourth time, they run it off just like I am. And they're like, mm. wow, you know, I, I never realized because I work on confidence and confidence comes from within. It's not something that's mm. always going to be seen. Um, so I really make sure that I train people um, not only on leads. This is another thing. I'm one of the very few people I've actually never met anybody else. So there may be somebody watching that has done this. But um, I was and am a 100% referral-based broker, okay? okay? My very first year, I was calling leads, closing people back to back to back, okay? I know how to close leads. But why pay for leads when I can just 
use my voice, my platform, to half of my block, my name. I've written up all of my neighbors, all of my family, all of my friends, people on my timeline, coworkers that are on my page. Um, so I would write over two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year off the muscle. Okay, mm. not with using leads. So what do I train my brokers to do? I train them to be capable of purchasing leads and calling them and closing them. But most importantly, even this weekend, um, I had about five different agents write business. Every single last one of those sales were referrals. Mm. I have yet to see another broker train people on just referrals. Mm. That really that's, speaks that's to your um, that speaks to your dedication and your mentality when it comes to relationships too. Yes. And that really oh, speaks yes. to that. Mm -hmm. I, I build relationships and network everywhere I go. You know, I yeah. travel a lot. I travel like once a month, okay? And whenever I go somewhere new, like I just came back from New Orleans, New Orleans is like another home. Everywhere I go, I'm welcome back, right? Mm -hmm. um, I always make sure that I incorporate what I do for a living pretty much in every conversation. I just mm -hmm. drop it in there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let them keep knowing, like, oh, you know, I have a very busy schedule, you know, because I have to deal with a lot of clients. And they ask, oh, what do you do? So I kind of you know, bring yeah. them into asking me. But, you know, most importantly, it's really all about networking. It's yeah. also about being yourself. I mm. am a Tia Bell everywhere I go. I don't change myself. I don't need to code switch anymore. Used to have to do that when I worked in code, um, corporate. Now I'm cool. I might let a curse slip on the call um, when I'm talking to the trainees because this is how we talk to each other, right? Yeah. This yeah. is how we make each other feel comfortable. So I think my superpower is I'm able to talk to anyone any age, any race, any gender, and I'm able to make them feel comfortable. And once mm. people's defenses are down, then they can talk to you about the difficult topics. Yeah, yeah. You got to kind of get through the the static, if you will, yes. to get to the person and the people and the actual conversation. Absolutely. Um, yeah. You yeah. Um, having financial freedom, and I know everybody wants it, and everybody says, well, everybody says that they want it, right? You know, they want to be financially they free. They say. Right, that you see how I said that. They say that they, yeah, they, you know, say. they say that they want it. You know, for you, what what has your decision to continue on this path and just secure financial freedom for you? What has that freed you up to do? Wow. Okay. I'm gonna admit this. I have a lot more free time than people realize I do because. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm able to delegate, you know, a lot of things. Um, yes. So I don't, I won't tell you how many hours, but I don't work the same way. For example, um, you know, I always have my cell phone because I have a lot of brokers, right? And we have a chat room where we're talking all day long, mm -hmm. but that doesn't feel like work. Right. right. So I can do anything at any time. If somebody calls me and they're like, hey, um, I need you to do X, Y, Z. For the most part, I can move my schedule around. I am in control of my life. This is the first time ever that I am 100% in control of my life. I don't have to do anything I don't want to do. I don't have to talk to anyone I don't want to talk to. No one is my boss. I don't have to listen to anyone. Um, mm. I can create things on my own. Um, business relationships with people. I have a great business partner. He's awesome. Um, I have lots of different things that are helping me. And most importantly, I like to travel. I really do. Um, so I go on about eight vacations a year. Mm -hmm. And I'm able to, at the drop of a dime, if I decide, you know, oh, you know what? I want to go to Puerto Rico, like in April, I went to Puerto Rico, bought an open ticket and stayed for a month, right? Uh Why? Because my laptop, honey, she comes with me everywhere. So yes. as long as I have her, I can do anything, okay? Yes. So um, I want to say I feel free. Um, I don't have the same stressors that a lot of people that are working jobs where they have, you know, no matter how much money they make, if they're, if they're working for someone else, you have to answer to someone. Sure. I don't have to answer to anybody. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it has been extremely freeing. And one of the dopest things is that I can focus my time on creating other people that want to live a life like that. Um, so, for example, one of my brokers, Za. He came on in March, started writing business. He said, you know what? I think I want to build my own team. Helped him build his own team. Now he has seven brokers. One of his brokers just wrote $3,600 on her first day. So wow. I'm training people to train people so that they can see their own financial freedom and help other people build their businesses as well. And I'm going to get a piece of pie of everything. Everything I yeah. touch, I make. So, you know, that's the beauty of it. 
Yeah, it's like that investment that, in, you know, like that kind of thing. Investing in others comes back to you. Yeah, yeah. So for somebody who is interested in, you know, learning more, how do people connect with you in the best way to okay. say, listen, I want to do that? Well, first things first, I'm a receipts kind of girl. Okay. Which means every single thing I say can be backed up. Um, and the way that I've been able to provide a lot of receipts is I have a hashtag on Instagram and Facebook. It's hashtag it's the script baby. I T S T H E S C R I P T B A B Y. If you go to search on Facebook, hashtag it's the script baby, you are going to see hundreds of reviews from people that have taken my course as well as client testimonials and most importantly um numbers meaning this broker said oh i was able to write 10 grand thanks to ti i appreciate lots and lots and lots of reviews meaning receipts so mm -hmm. you're not going to wonder oh i wonder if our course works if you go yeah. to that hashtag you're going to see reviews you're going to see results thank you um you're going to see reviews you're going to see results you're going to see everything that you can possibly think of to determine whether or not i am who i say i am Okay. You gotcha. can also you can also Google me, um, and then I have a website. My website is I'm just saying, um, you know, just saying. Um, and my website is insuremet.net. So it's insureme and then t double -E dot net. Okay. Um, I n s u r e m e t e e dot net. Um, and through that website, you can sign up for my course. Um, you can book a consultation. Let's say you just want to have a call. Okay, you can book a consultation. Um, and also, you'll be able to see some um, testimonials on there as well. Um, you'll be able to see some career opportunities, meaning if you decide, hey, you know, I want to go directly through you, um, you can do that. If you want to join my agency, I start all of my agents, uh, all of my brokers off with 100% uh, contracts. Okay, a lot of people are like, how are you able to do that? Well, kind of finesse the situation where I have a very nice contract so I can be very generous. Um, mm -hmm. Meaning for the first year, you're gonna get all of the money. So if you write 3,600 on a policy and it takes you 20, let's say for example, it takes you 20 minutes to write that policy. You're gonna get that entire 36 by the end of the year, but they're gonna give you $2,700 up front. Mm -hmm. So that's how we sit there and in 20 minutes make three grand. Mm -hmm. Right. So I show people how to work smarter, not harder um, by being able to build up their brands. OK, I help people promote. Um, I have um, another hashtag, hashtag insure me tea, where I put lots and lots and lots of life insurance posts. Um, so in reality, the reason why people reach out to me is one, I'm down to earth mm -hmm. Two, I'm going to keep it real. Three, I'm very, very knowledgeable. And four, I know every single pitfall that you might have that's gonna come in front of you in this business and I show you how to swerve around it, okay? Mm. So when it comes down to how to handle chargebacks, how to handle clients, um, what to do you know, with rebuttals, I cover absolutely everything that a broker would need to know so that they can be successful. For somebody listening right now, one of the biggest things is somebody saying, this is for me, this is not for me. In your perspective and from yes. your experience, what is the number one thing that you see come up time and time again where somebody just is not successful this is that oh. one thing where if if this is it it's not gonna work they're not picking up the phone mm. i have seen people with 200 leads and i will tell them every day hey did you make any calls today oh you know you know my my, my bird got sick and my grandmother coughed and you know I heard the car outside backfired. I got nervous. So, you know, I didn't make any calls. And you know what I do to prove a point, right? I, I prove points sometimes, but every once in a while when I have a, a, a trainee, and I'll do it right there. I'll have a trainee and I'll say, these are your leads, right? Okay, let me call a couple of them. And I will, great example. I called this one lady um, after the trainee said, oh, well, I called this lady multiple times and couldn't get her to answer the phone. I said, okay, let me try called the lady was able to close a seven thousand dollar policy in three uh 30 minutes right mm. so the reality is it's really a numbers game mm. you could stand outside on a corner with a sign do you need life insurance and someone is going to say yes sure but you got to stand on that corner 
right? Mm. So rather than standing on a corner, you need to post on your page. You need to reach Ooh. out to your family and friends, ask them to share it. You need to purchase leads if you can afford it. Some leads are 75 cents each. You can take $50, buy 50 leads, close a couple, make a couple thousand dollars. But you won't do any of that if you have phone fear. Phone mm. fear is, what if the person asks me a question that I don't know the answer to? What if the person hangs up on me? What if the person yells at me? And I tell people all the time, a no doesn't hurt you, but a yes will bless you, right? Yeah. So if you're calling people and they all say no, who cares? Because at the end of that calling session, you might get a $7,000 sale and you won't care about every no that you heard before that. Sure. Mm. Yes. So when people tell me, oh, I don't want to go into sales, I remind people all the time, I'm not a saleswoman, okay? I'm an educator. Mm -hmm. I educate people on their options and I allow them to make a decision. Sure. Very simple. Okay. Selling is like, to me, when I think of selling, it's, it's like you're trying to get, you're trying to force someone to get something. Mm -hmm. No, every single person I talk to either doesn't have any life insurance or they don't have enough. Very mm -hmm. few people have enough life insurance. And mm -hmm. every once in a while I run into someone who does and I'm very respectful. I say, you know what? I think you're covered. You know, I think you have what you need. I'm honest enough to say that. Then I ask, hey, you got any referrals for me? You have any cousins, sisters, aunties, uncles? Um, and then I still use it that way. But in reality, you got to talk to everyone. You cannot mm -hmm. be shy. I, I Listen, this is the truth. I was standing in a liquor store one day, right? I worked a long day. And I said, you know what? I'm going to get myself a bottle of wine, right? I'm in the liquor store. I'm standing behind this older gentleman. Um, and he said, oh, you can go in front of me. I said, yes, because I'm so, you know, I slotted in. So tired. I had so many clients today. And he it. said, oh, really? What do you do? I said, well, I'm a life insurance broker. I'm pretty sure you, because he had his worksman's uniform on. I said, I'm pretty sure you're covered through your employer. But do you know how that works? And he said, actually, I'm about to retire. And I heard I'm going to lose it. And I said, bingo. Mm. So imagine working 30 years for a job, not realizing that life insurance given by your employer only works if you die on a job. So now hey. here's this man is 65 years old with no coverage. So, you know, I finessed, you know, with my truths. And I said, well, listen, I would love to help you get some life insurance so that you don't have to worry about waiting until you retire. He said, my wife's outside. She sets everything up. I said, oh, one second, literally put the wine down. I didn't even pay for it. Put the wine down, went outside, talked to his wife, set up an appointment for that Saturday and wrote up seven family members. Mm. Now, would that have happened if I didn't speak up? Yeah. Hence why I tell everyone what I do. Um, one of my friends, he's so funny. He's like, we could be at a dinner party. And by the time I walk away, he'll say, how many contacts did you make? Oh, you know, I got a, about three or five appointments, you know, for the weekend. Because everybody needs it. Mm. Everybody needs it. They think it costs too much. They think it's only about death. And they don't trust the representative. So if yeah. I make you feel like you can trust me, you're going to get insurance with me. Yeah. Yes. I love that. Yes. You have so many, um, you, I could, you know, I could sit here all day. You yes. have, you have so many, um, you have so many accomplishments and you still have, you have so many characteristic superstar moments and testimonies, if you oh will, with, with accomplishing what you are with your own agency and financial freedom. What is next for you? Workshops. Ooh. I want to travel the country and set up conferences and be a speaker at workshops. Mm. I want to be the main event, right? Outside of my agency, I want to once a month go to Georgia or New Orleans and go to a ballroom in a hotel that is filled with people that want to learn how to sell life insurance um, and that want to learn how to build their business and their brand. That is my goal because my agency can go from 120 people to 5,000 right? Mm. That's the goal. It's going to, it, I don't put a number on it because I'm going to be doing this for the foreseeable future. And if I've acquired a hundred people in a short time like this, um, I'm pretty sure that it's going to keep, especially with opportunities like this, people are going to come to me. They're going to feel my vibe. They're going to want me to train them. They're going to want to join my team. They're going to want that commission rate. They're going to want to work with top carriers like Aflac, John Hancock, Mutual of Omaha, AIG, all of the top carriers. So you can walk into a room and feel confident not only in yourself, but the products in which you're selling. 
So mm -hmm. I would love um, to get into motivational speaking um, as well as just educating people on, you know, how to do what I did. I took the chains off my arms. I used to work 90 hours a week. Um, uh -huh. And now it's nothing like that. You know, I yeah. can in the middle of the day sit here and talk to Philip for as long as I want. So, you know, I love that question that you asked me what's next. Um, because the sky is the limit. I, I, do, I pray I get to live a long, healthy life because I want to continue to bless my clients as well as every broker that crosses my path. I just want to help everyone grow. That's my goal. I love it. You need not wait any longer for um, yes. motivational speaking. You literally do it now. <laughs> oh my you know God. what I mean? Like you literally do it now. So it's nothing that you need to wait for. I'm so excited Absolutely. that um, like you have so many things going on, but you're so proficient. Um, and you're so committed to it. And here's the thing, you're consistent. I struggle with a lot of insecurities and people are like, no way, oh yes, right? So even when it looks like, oh my gosh, Tia, you just rocked that interview, was super nervous, you know, heart pounding. Yeah. I'm just like everyone else. I still struggle with my nerves. I still have imposter syndrome. Yeah. Um, so I just wanna encourage everyone that struggles with their, um, their self-esteem, um, a lot of people who are lost, I spent a couple years not knowing exactly what I was going to do once I left Wall Street. Um, and in reality, you know, I was a mess in my head. Like, what am I going to do? Working 90 hours between three jobs. And I happened to stumble upon this and my life has completely changed. So, yes, wow. you're going to see lots and lots of people that are going to tell you, oh, you can become a millionaire. All I'm going to say is I'm going to show you how to be the best version of you. And Love if it. you allow me to mold you, you're gonna grow yeah and if it's not for you we'll always part friends you know part as friends and that works too just be yourself and be honest and people will gravitate to you that's it i love it yeah i love it thank you tia thank you so that was Atia bell she has just wowed us she just blew our minds and hopefully she gave you some nuggets to say you know where is my fear and what is my fear leaving me unable to do unavailable to step into and how can I maneuver around that to find the success that I know that I can make. You have all the information that um, she gave. You can go to philipperwork.com and learn more. We're gonna be looking out for those, um, those, those workshops. Clearly, clearly um, she's doing some big things and I love the authenticity that she brings to it. So remember, you are the best you in the world. I will see you next time here on The Philip Show for more about the show and more about Atia. Please go to philipperwork.com. See you next time. Don't